Hello, my very most beautiful Sagittarius. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your May bonus reading. Now this is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my very most beautiful Sagittarius. Please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Sagittarius energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. So guys, this is your bonus reading, which means that it is all about the person on your mind. So whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. I wonder if you're moving on. Memories. I want to be more than friends. I miss you. I'm so attracted to you. Okay. Some of you guys, you know, I definitely feel like this is somebody that you guys were involved with in the past. Some of you guys could still be friendly with this person or at least on decent terms with them. Um, that's obviously not going to resonate that way for everybody, but I do feel like that with some of, with, for some of you, especially with this, I want to be more than friends card coming up. Now, if that's not the case, that doesn't mean this can't resonate for you. I just feel like that is the case for a lot of you. Um, someone's really still very, very attracted to you. And they, you know, I feel like they don't want this to be the end. They're really missing you here. So we are going to see what's going on. We're going to look at their headspace, their heart space, their true intentions, and their actions moving forward. But somebody's really missing you. And, you know, we are still in Mercury retrograde. Even though we are towards the end, we still are here. And, um... You know, that the whole purpose of any retrograde is for review, you know, so we can review things. So I do feel like, you know, some of this stuff could be really coming up for this person to really take a look at. And, you know, they're doing a lot of reflecting. They're really thinking about you. They wonder if you moved on. They wonder if you've found somebody else or maybe if you still feel the same way about them. Show me this person's thoughts when it comes to Sagittarius. What are their thoughts? The Ace of Cups. Wow. They still want this. And they have a lot of emotion for you. They they have a lot of feelings for you here. And the death card. I do feel like this is like... I also feel like that I'm getting a few different messages from this. So just this combination here. You know, I do feel like some of them have not really handled this ending or separation very well. It's like there's been, there's an outpouring of emotion from this person and maybe they don't let on, maybe you don't know. Um, but I feel like they've had a harder time dealing with this. Um, even if they were the ones that left, it doesn't, you know, the separation is what it is. Um, you know, you not being in their life is what they're having a hard time with. This being over is what they're having a hard time with. Um, and I just feel like it's more than what anybody knows. I feel like maybe they have not expressed that. They have not let on. For others of you, I do feel like they want to transform the connection. Like, they want to transform this. They do not like where things are. They want a brand new opportunity with you. They have a lot of emotion for you. Okay, for others of you, I feel like they're just, they want a new beginning with you. They have a lot of love for you. And they're trying to figure out how to overcome this ending. Some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign at Scorpio in particular. Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, so they're focused on this, on you. Okay, they are focused on you. It's like, and I don't think it's a coincidence that it's coming out under this. I wonder if you're moving on because they have not been able to. Um, you know, they're only focused on you and it doesn't matter who else is there, who else tries. You know, they don't want anybody else. Um, they do want to work on this. Show me how they feel. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? Got the nine of swords. So yeah, they they were oh, they've awoken to some truth, some clarity, some realizations. I definitely feel like they're you know laying awake thinking about you. I don't feel like like I said, I don't feel like a lot of stuff is a coincidence here. Not in the tarot. We have the memories. 
So the Knight of Swords underneath this, like he's laying in bed. I feel like this person is laying in bed at night thinking about you, like unable to sleep, unable to get it off their mind. Some of them are even dreaming about you as well. Like you are seeing them in their dreamscape. Wow, the Eight of Swords as well. So they are really in their head about you. Like it's like they think about you all the time. Like this person thinks about you all the time. And the six of swords and it's almost like they don't know how not to like this person does not know how to move forward they have tried they do not know how to move on here it's like they've tried to figure out how to move on what is this person's true intentions when it comes to Sagittarius what are their true intentions the moon card deep reflection is what that feels like to me the world card it's like they're trying to figure out how to let this, you know, how to let this close out. Um, but they don't know how. The moon card is like they, they don't know how. They can't see that. Um, they do want, I feel like some of them do want a new beginning, but they don't know how to go about that either. They don't know if that's possible. They don't know if you're single. If you've moved on, do you still want them? You know, there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of uncertainties. The Five of Pentacles, feeling a little bit lost and lonely without you here, Sag. Feeling lost and lonely without you. What actions will this person be taking? So with this moon card being here and the world card being here for their true intentions, you know, I do feel like a part of them does, it's like they either want to figure out how they can pull themselves out of this energy and move forward or they want to figure out how they can um, get you back. It's like one of the two that they don't, they are having a hard time being where they're at. This like stuck energy, eight of swords, nine of swords, not being able to move on. It's like they they can't stay here. They want to, they want to move on or they want you back. You know, they can't stay where they are. The full card, I do feel like they want a new beginning. This is their action. Some of them could be taking a chance. The seven of swords, but then it's like they talk themselves out of it because the seven of swords can be like tricking yourself out of something. It's like they're tricking themselves out of a new beginning. Um, Either way, by not reaching out, by not expressing themselves, by keeping this here. Because I feel like by not knowing, um, they're keeping themselves stuck. So if they did reach out and they did say something and it didn't go their way, at least they would have that and they would be able to, you know, move forward. Um, or they could, you know, have a beginning with you. But by staying in this, you know, stuck energy and keeping all of this to themselves, um, you know, it's almost like they're tricking themselves out of either being free from this or tricking themselves out of a new beginning here. The Empress. They are still, they are extremely attracted to you. And they do still want this. The Nine of Wands. You know, they don't want to give up on this. They, they, they have you, I don't want to say they have you up on a pedestal, but kind of. Like this person, they think so highly of you, Sagittarius. They, get, they do. And that's another reason why they just haven't been able to let go. Because it's like, especially compared to like other people, it's like they have not met anybody that measures up and it, it's terrible you know we shouldn't you know compare people to other people but you know I feel like this person does it's like nobody is as good as you were to them you know what I'm saying so you know nobody holds a candle to you here Sag you know that's how they see you they have you this person has you up on a pedestal they don't know how to move on So let's go ahead. We're going to take a look. Let's see what flew out. Yeah, the Empress again. So they're extremely attracted to you. They do. They have you up on a pedestal. Like they, they can't put no one else above you. So let's take a look and see what what is your biggest challenge, what you don't see coming, and some advice in this situation. What is the biggest challenge within this situation? The Queen of Swords. So somebody just expressing this person just being able to express how they feel being able to open up that is the challenge you know being able to just be honest about how they feel and face that situation head on yeah the two of cups have that conversation and communicate how they feel either way i feel like it would be better for them whether so if you're a cross watcher either way it's going to be Either way, it's going to be better. At least then you'll know the truth. But to me, I feel like this is like keeping you very stuck here. So that's the challenge. The two of pentacles, that going back and forth energy, not actually taking any action, just staying kind of stuck. You got two twos here, so there's definitely a decision that needs to be made. The nine of cups, I see that this is the wish. Okay, that's the wish here. 
So let's see, what doesn't Sagittarius see coming? The Empress again. I feel like you do not realize how they, how they view you. You do not. And especially if you guys like fell out or whatever happened here, even if they were the ones, some of them could have been the ones that left and now they're like, they're having all these realizations and regrets. But whatever it is, I feel like what would shock you, because it's come up multiple times now, is like how they view you. You know, this person, like, there is nobody better than you to this person, Sagittarius. They have you up on a pedestal. Like, you are the bee's knees, whatever, whatever, whatever phrase people use these days. Um, you know, you are it, okay? You are it, Sag, for them. The Four of Swords. Because they keep it all to themselves. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra. You got... Or a Taurus. We got Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, Sagitt another Sagittarius. What advice do we have for my beautiful Sagittarius, please? The Eight of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. So, guys, if you for some for those of you where you want this person to, um, I feel like maybe you guys are in a similar energy. Now that doesn't have to you know resonate that way, but I, I feel like this is a message for those of you that do want this person too. It's like you both want each other, and nobody's saying anything um, because the, you, the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles for you, it's like you know you're waiting for them to say something. They could be waiting for you to say something. Both of you are in your head about the situation, um, and you both sit here or you are both wanting each other. And nobody's saying anything. So that's all I'm going to say about that, Sag. So that is what I have for you guys. If this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.